everybody, my name is Emily and I'm the Urban and Public Affairs Librarian at Portland State University. I am here to introduce you to some things about your annotated bibliography assignment. There are a few things though that you should know first. This assignment is going to require you to know how to find scholarly literature. This video doesn't cover those skills, you choosing databases, effective keyword searching, and also um, peer review and finding peer reviewed articles. If you need help with any of those topics before doing your annotated bibliography, I'd highly recommend using resources from the library website to learn about those. This video, however, will introduce you to an annotated bib assignment and um, how to move forward with that. So in this video, I'll be talking about what is an abstract, also what is an annotation. We'll compare annotations and abstracts, and I'll discuss briefly about how to properly format your citations. So what is an abstract? An abstract summarizes an article. You'll notice here a screenshot of an article that I found in HealthSource, a database offered to you from the library. Every database should include abstracts for the articles included in it. Abstracts are typically written by the article authors and submitted at the same time an article is submitted to a journal for publication. Abstracts will help you when you're searching for articles to decide whether an article is relevant to your topic. It'll help you decide whether you will even want to read that article or move on to the next one. Here's the same abstract replicated. Notice I have the citation in the proper APA format at the bottom. Let's go through it and point out the parts of this abstract. First, the abstract starts with its research question. Here, it is succinctly describing what the research question was that informed this article. Next, there's a very brief sentence talking about the research method used. For this particular research, a survey was conducted. Third, you'll, you should probably see some research findings. Usually percentages and things like that are reflected. Finally, the abstract ends with a conclusion. Sometimes this also points to further research. So let's look at annotations. Annotations also summarize articles, but they do more. They assess an article. They offer a reflection on an article. They are not written by an article author. In this instance, the annotation is going to be written by you. I fully suspect if you copy and paste an abstract that that is plagiarism. What you need to do for this assignment is use your own words. The purpose for an annotation in this instance is that it will help you strategize for your literature review portion of the assignment. It'll help you reflect and assess and pull the threads of your research together. So let's look at this annotation example. I pulled this example from the Purdue OWL website. Notice that this annotation is very short. It's only two paragraphs, actually only four sentences. It summarizes. The first paragraph is a summary. The second paragraph reflects. Notice the very last sentence. Aaron Reich's project is timely, descriptive, and well-researched. That's an opinion or, an, or a reflection. So, the difference between an annotation and an abstract. An abstract is a summary of an article including research methods, findings, and conclusions. It is fact-based and offers no bias. It is written by the article author. An annotation, on the other hand, also provides a short summary, but doesn't necessarily need to include the research methods, findings, and conclusions. Your annotation will be reflective and evaluative. It's an opportunity for you to think critically about the article that you read. Finally, 
that annotation is written in your own words. So how do you format citations? Well, if you're using library databases to find your resources and your references, then you're going to have a lot of tools that will help you cite. For instance, in HealthSource, there's an opportunity for you to click on the Cite button and then find the APA citation. From here, you could review it and edit it for any mistakes. There are some resources for APA format. You can use the APA format uh, style guide from the Purdue OWL. The library also has a research guide about citing your sources. I hope that this cleared up any confusion about annotations for your assignment. If you have any more needs for help from the library, please don't hesitate to ask a librarian.